Hello everyone, I'm back. It's me, Raja, and I'm here with my guest. Mariah Balenciaga. Raven isn't here this week because it is summertime and our schedules are a little crazy. So she's not here this week. It'll just be me and a myriad of different guests. And you are watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Ru Review. <laughs> So this week we're going to be tooting and booting some of our alumni from RuPaul's Drag Race from their social media, their Instagram, their Twitter, their Facebook, their Scruff account. Scruff? And we, aren't there, are, are girl, have you seen, on Scruff? Have you seen some of their skin? They grow thicker beards than the daddies that I would be pouncing on, so. Apparently the library's open and Mariah's ready for this. Oh, it's wow. always open, bitch. I got a lifetime library card. Just go on. So with that being said, girl, let's dig in. Let's do this. All right. All right, look number one, ladies and gentlemen from Chicago, Illinois, the one and only Gia Gunn. All I gotta say is I know for a fact that Gia loves black balls. Oh, she likes gosh. black furry, furry balls and she likes black. them hanging all over her body. I'm gonna go ahead and toot this because it's really, it's really true to life. It says a lot about who she is as a person and I know that Gia Gunn loves big black furry balls hanging all over her body. I give it a two. Uh, you know what? I love a girl living in her truth and being authentic to her drag <laughs> self, funny. Whether it's in or out, I give it a two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, black balls, two. Uh, Here we go, we got girl number two. Kimchi. Kimchi. Also from Chicago. I will have to say of all the brilliant looks I've seen of hers, this is not on the top of my list. This one I'm thinking seemed a little skimpy in the fabulosity area, but the hair and the makeup is always on point. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you because this, you know, there's something about them girls in Chicago that they really like to look like living dolls, which I appreciate. But you know, when one girl does something, it's like they all gotta do it too. I love everything that Kimchi does. Sometimes she looks too much like a fucking toilet paper cozy. I really prefer her edgy looks, and this one is like a like the toilet paper cozy that you'd put out at Christmas. Or like toilet plunger protector. <laughs> that too. I give it a boot. Well, uh, yeah, Kimchi, love you, girl, but this one's a boot for me. Sorry, baby. But hey, you were top three. You got further than <laughs> I did. Next we have the Australian loveliness of Courtney X. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful little black sultry number. Oh, and it has a message making mm. a statement about the gender neutral restrooms. Courtney, I think always looks great. I think that she's one of the fishiest queens and the most realist queens that have ever been on Drag Race. I love this look. I love that kind of uh, peekaboo, you know, sheer kind of t-shirt dress. She always looks fantastic, and I love the message that's in the picture as well. Courtney Act, always one of the loves of my life. I, I like it, and I give it a two. I give it a two. I think she looks fantastic. I give it a toot toot. A gender neutral toot. If I was in that bathroom, I would probably be doing a gender neutral toot right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we have Ben de la Crème. I love the cut of this because especially with some of the girls who are broader on top, mm -hmm. you have to be careful with like the cuts that you that you wear. Yeah. And I think this is very flattering. What I always notice about Ben is Ben has a silhouette. Th like she always you. does that right. I love the silhouette. She Thank always you. does that right. Like it's nipped in at the waist. It, like her shoulders always look nice. Tits like everything. are great. And if she didn't want to tuck, she didn't have to fucking tuck. I love a flouncy skirt. I, that's why she's always smiling. She doesn't mm -hmm. have to stick her dick in her butt. Are we allowed to say that on, <laughs> on this? I, my <laughs> dick is in your butt right now. No one would ever <laughs> know because no one can see the lower part of our bodies. <laughs> Toot. Toot. Katya Dzbrzlov Blakovich. Yes. Katya has the quirkiest way of mixing things and this is one of my favorite favorite looks. This is you so know I love a Stevie Nicks witchy moment. I'd let her put the lime in the coconut. It's just got every single bohemian witch hippie thing that I love. The crinkly I hair, the like the 1970s rock and roll bangs. I feel this. It's so easy mm. breezy mm -hmm. and it's fashionable. It's fashion forward. Mm. And not only is it fashion forward but it's also very timeless. She's just like I don't give a fuck. I like it. And to me that's fashion. So it gets a toot for me. Next we have Milk. Oh, she's all over the place and it's perfect for her, it works for her. Oh my God, excuse me. Just have those pot stickers. Ooh, hold on, let me taste. Mm, oh, there stickers. we go, delicious. Milk always looks great. I love what she does most of the time, I think. 
sometimes it's a little out of my stratosphere, but I'm also a, just a kind of straight laced, kind of shiny girl. Mm -hmm. It's out of the box, it's quirky, it's campy. I think this is a really cool outfit. The only thing I'm not really happy with is the hair. I don't know. It's so hard for me. I think it's I think it's a two. I think it's a two. I'm gonna say two. Overall, I'll have to I'll have to toot it. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, there's my friend Columbus and some drag queen. Oh, that's Layla <laughs> McQueen. Layla McQueen. <laughs> but that is my friend Columbus. Is he? Anyway, he's with Layla McQueen. Bitch, that beat is everything. It's intense, but it's blended. I've been up close on the bitch, and it's always blended. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The outfit sucks. And that looks like just Basic. some American apparel. Like, I mean, I own a lot of American apparel. In fact, I might be wearing something from them now. But in this day and age, you can't just wear the American apparel anymore. You gotta mm -hmm. rhinestone it. Take some of the necklaces away from there and put it around the hip. Ooh. That would be good. Ooh, fashion. You are reviewing her fashion right yes, now. Her see, photo of I'm her fashion. Nice. She lost me like the, from the uh, neck down, so I'm gonna go ahead and boot it. I love you, Layla, but I'm gonna have to boot this one. Yeah. But Columbus, hey girl. Hey. <laughs> Suddenly I feel like I need hand sanitizer <laughs> or... You touched the picture. Or like you rubber gloves. It. I totally did. You Ew. touched it. This is Matthew Sanderson, <sighs> AKA Detox. AKA in, the party monster. In, no, you know what's her party monster? Is her fucking ass. That's the cookie monster. That's cookie That's monster! Cookie monster. <laughs> I'm used to seeing detox in little to nothing, mm -hmm. but this is just a whole nother perspective. You know, something uh, at a certain time in our lives, our bodies will all wither. We're all slowly dying, aren't we? Mm -hmm. If you ever get an opportunity to be proud of your own body and just be, just show it to the fucking entire internet world, do it now. Do it now. And you know what? Even if you are wrinkly later on in life, show that off too. Flaunt Fuck it. it. Wrap it around your neck like a scarf. You know what? I'm gonna toot her fucking cookie monster. You know what? I'm gonna toot her boot. Mm. You know what? That's two toots. We two love toots. you, detox. But you should have done something with your hair. Oh, no, Jesus. You know what? All right, next we have the princess. Oh, Hi. wow. She is serving dominoes. I love a themed queen. I'm not really myself. There's a lot of things I'm not. Mm -hmm. Smart. <laughs> Season three winner. <laughs> She's definitely delivering a big slice of something extra. I'm down for this look. I wish I knew what song she was doing so I could really have tipped her a big bill. If probably. it were my if it were my moment to be a pizza delivery girl, I would be sluttier. I yeah. probably would have tied it in the back and had exactly. like maybe a white thong. Just really hoary pizza delivery girl with an RC Cola cap. And then maybe like a, a glued in ponytail coming out of the back of the cap mm. instead of actually wearing a wig because that would have been so 80s cheesy. Oh my God, and Mountain Dew teeth. You know what, I'm so down. You know, I wish it would have been a little sluttier but I like a themed queen and mm -hmm. this is really cute. I give you it a two. I give it a two as well. Oh, we've got Kelly Mantle. It's interesting, isn't it? I'm sure it was probably like a, a metaphorical type of something happening. Banana hammock? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think a mermaid needs to be by water. I'm a cla I'm like a traditionalist when it comes to mermaids. Everybody knows that if you reach the hammock, then your leg should have appeared. That's the mermaid rule. I, I like this in composition. I think it's funny. It's interesting. I didn't need the, the grandma sunflowers mixed with the foam paper thing on the head and the mermaid tail, like, something needs to go. Yeah, there's not a focal point other than it's bright in the middle of a hammock. And I'm just gonna have to boot it. Yeah, this is to boot. Our top two of the week is... Katya! Katya! Yes, Katya! Katya, blah, 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 bitch. Yes, blah, 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 Trend alert! Something in the background. Message. What is that? It's a banana hammock. What the fuck is, is that a plug? <laughs> Syringes? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents! Yeah!